Hey, it's Lane with WinRTSource.com, and every single Friday, we feature an app that deserves to be on your surface. If you don't download this one, you're crazy. We know that you guys love to keep up with news. That's why you come to our website. That's why you visit our YouTube channel, and that's why you're subscribed to us on Twitter and Facebook, so on and so forth. So I have an app that I want to show you today that is really, really excellent for people who want to keep up with the latest news, and it does it in a unique way. It's actually made by this, the creator of the app that we featured last week, Tweedium. If you haven't seen that video, you can click on the annotation below and go straight to that. The app I'm featuring today is called Newzine. This app is very interesting in the way that it features news. You can see off to the left here, it is showing me articles that I have looked at recently. Since I'm new to this app, in the top left corner here, you'll see this Welcome to Newsine section. If you're familiar with Tweetium, you'll see it obviously looks very similar uh, to that app. So I love this. It just kind of shows you around the app some different features that you can that you can update. For instance, the theme. You can go ahead and change that. You can change this later from the settings within the app as well. So that's really fantastic. And there are other tips that you can see here. As you can see, the app is optimized for touch, mouse, and keyboard with different shortcuts there. If you tap on the check mark there, it's going to show that you have read this article and it's going to remove it from your feed. I'm going to leave that there for now. Interesting thing that you can see below these articles here is it's cycling through tweets from people that I follow, like you can see right here, I'm following The Verge, and it's aggregating those tweets into the news stories so that you can kind of see what people that you like are saying about that uh, particular story. You can also read the story in a number of different ways. So there's the feed here. Many websites like The Verge do not allow full syndication, so I can't read the full article here. I have to go and look at it through the browser. Well, maybe I don't want to read it through the browser. Maybe I want to stay within the app. I can go ahead and click on web and it's going to load up a small kind of minimized web browser right here so that I can read the story easily from within the app. And this way I'm able to see all of the graphics that The Verge has put into their story. So I wouldn't have been able to see these things otherwise. So that is really great. As well, another option that you have is to go and read the story about this topic from another source, in this case Engadget. In this case, they didn't write quite as long of an article, but they are allowing full syndication here. So this allows you to gain perspective. You can see what different people are saying about this same topic. I think that's fantastic. Again, once you're finished with reading that story, you can tap this check mark box. It leaves the feed here, but it goes over here in case you forget. Where did I see that story? You can go and back, go back and take a look at it again. Very great. Also, if a story is updated, it's going to show here that that story has been updated in case there's new information. You can see this app is supported by ads. You'll see that right there. You can remove those ads, but this app is based on a subscription, so it's not a one-time purchase. Of course, if you're fine with the ads, leave it there. If you want to support the developer, you can come in here and you can purchase uh, the app on a subscription subscription basis. Again, this app is fantastic. It is made by the same developer who brought you Tweedium. Tweedium features a very similar design and actually integrates a lot of these features. So if you'd like to keep up with Twitter, I'd recommend taking a look at that as well. I also want to point out that this app is aggregating news based on topics that it believes you're interested in. You can manage these topics yourself, or you can simply sign in to your Twitter account, and it will take a look at your interests based on the categories of users that you follow there, which I think is very nice. Thanks so much for watching, guys.
If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Give us a thumbs up if you like the app recommendations that we're bringing to you every single Friday. And be sure to check us out on winrtsource.com where we feature news, apps, games, tips and tricks, basically everything that a Surface owner needs to have.